to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be from Fighting Spirit Mania. And I think I'm going to upload this immediately after the... I've got the Artosis vs. Hawk games that I actually want to upload and put some fancy things on. Because it feels like those are special. And in the meantime, I'm missing a lot of content. Well, I don't have a lot of content to do between now and the start of BSL 16, so I might try to mix some other stuff in. Bottom left-hand corner, we have DeWalt starting as the White Protoss. Bottom right-hand corner, we have Boneth. The map is Fighting Spirit, and this is once again Fighting Spirit Mania. It's kind of my go-to to find replays for. This is actually, if you can believe it, from the winner's bracket final. I don't know that the grand final has been played yet, but at the very least, this is from the winner's bracket final. This, I think, started... When did this start? A long time ago. This tournament has been going on forever. It is unsurprising to see both of these players in the winner bracket final. Boneth has had... I, I don't want to give any spoilers out between Boneth and DeWalt and their recent successes, but I will say they both have been very successful lately. And I'll leave it at that for the people that have not checked out the uh, BSL Season 15 Pro League scene. Also, Russian Cyber Games, both these guys. But point being, t arguably top two foreigners. Both of these guys, I think Zeke, he's a third guy that has arguments in that space. Both of them have had a lot of success lately. Boneth cycling up to the upper right corner. I'm almost wondering, this I believe was played previous to a lot of the BSL. So it's almost like a preview of uh, Bonneth and DeWalt heading up against one another as far as as far as just like the heads up match and it's interesting that I'm wondering if this elevated their play a little bit being able to go heads up against one another both players opening up two gate Bonneth more well known for opening up the two gate but DeWalt is obviously no slouch at doing it as well DeWalt sending out the later probe scout and on top of that is going to get first scout by going for the counterclockwise scout, immediately going to the base, and Bonnet's probe out of position a long distance. What's up, Viper's Malice? A reminder for people, I am casting these live Tuesdays and Thursdays. This actually might become more important in the near future. So I want to have like more audience participation and content moving forward. Mostly because it just makes it more fun. Both players grabbing their assimilator, Looks like there are the initial three zealots on both ends. I believe this is going to be a halt at three zealots for both players, especially after seeing the initial double gate from DeWalt. So Bonneth uh, right now, I bet in the dark, he's going to send his zealots out. DeWalt holding the lines. No additional zealots behind this. But depending... On how this plays out, this could be an advantage for Bonneth or could be a detriment. Depends on what happens with the micro on the front. Cybernetic score warping in about halfway. Cybernetic score, same thing, opposite side. If Bonneth somehow is able to get a breach on the front, be an absolute boon. But it's three versus three. Trying to get the corner right there. That's three on one zealot along that corner. This cor zealot stutter stepping back out on his two on one. And some nice micro there from DeWalt, able to slip. Beautiful micro. Able to heavily damage that one zealot and preserve all three of his. One with the Silver of Health, but that's going to allow it to recharge that shield. And that Probe Scout going to be able to cycle right back in and confirm additional information. So DeWalt with a sizable advantage in scouting information right this second. It looks like he's going to go ahead and skip Dragoon range. And going to get a Mana Pylon inside... Bonus base, and this is going to be the cost of having those zealots out of position, so a lot of disrupted mining. Let's see if he lets it finish. Two Dragoons now working down to go ahead and work it. Let's see if there's going to be cancellation as well. Yeah, cancellation to get the minerals back. Fake range! So Bonus trying to use the scouting advantage against DeWalt. I don't know if DeWalt saw the fake range or not, but he's going to switch into robotics. In the meantime, DeWalt is going to go for legitimate range and is setting up, especially going one zealot up and seeing just the two gate build up to this stage. Going to go ahead and stage for an expansion. That means Boneth is going to be able to be the aggressor here. I assume with robotics first. We'll see if he goes obs first to respect the DT play. 
And I like what DeWalt did, just moving that Dragoon to scout the upper left-hand corner just to make sure there wasn't any form of proxy tech nearby, just in case. But right now, worker count just about even. Supply count very, very close. A few more troops on the ground for DeWalt. DeWalt shortly going to go ahead and grab his expansion. Shuttle already being built, which suggests we are going to, in fact, no, we're going to see the observatory for, first. So Boneth going to be a little bit slower with that reaver. But he's going to try to get it done with a follow-up reaver. DeWalt looking to get aggressive and check that natural expansion. He has four Dragoons compared just to the two Dragoons for Boneth because of that tech investment in between. So the four Zealots staging forward, that's also going to shove them back. So just in case, and actually I didn't even realize, two additional sets of Dragoons behind us. So four, four Dragoons on the front. DeWalt testing the front, actually sending up the Zealots up the ramp. A Zealot exchanged for a Zealot. But now let's see, he knows there's no natural expansion. So has to expect some follow-up tech. The aggressive advantages are going to be in Bonus' favor either way. He is going to be denied this natural expansion, but this observer is going to be able to float forward, see the army positioning. And that is going to help that Reaver with the follow-up to go for a bust. DeWalt isn't going to have vision for quite some time. He does have that robotics facility up. He's gone robotic support bay to follow things. Is going to be behind in that Reaver tech, potentially. The observer going to go ahead. Actually, he's going to ignore the front and press forward. So Bonna feeling confident in his ability to go ahead and bust down to the low ground regardless. And the other thing that DeWalt needs to keep an eye on somehow, shield battery just in case there was a bust here, is, is I like this Dragoon here at the 6 o'clock location. Just in case those Reavers were going to scoop up and move out immediately. So now, Bonnef, with the superior troop count, pressing down the low ground. DeWalt not exiting rapidly enough. One Zealot's going to... Well, actually, no, decently rapidly. One Zealot going to sacrifice its life. But now Bonnef, with a decent supply lead, DeWalt pecking away at Zealots, gets a Zealot kill fairly rapidly there. But Bonnef sees that he has a superior ground army. Well, potentially. Maybe let's get the count here. So we got, what, six, seven, eight... Eight Dragoons, a Reaver. Two. Ah, okay, so maybe not. But that Reaver should make up the difference. It looks like Bonneth, however, just wants to slow play it here. Going to go ahead and grab his Nexus, wait for that second Reaver. Now he certainly has an advantage in overall tech. First Reaver, sorry, second Reaver being produced by DeWalt, but no shuttle protection, and it's going to be two on one as far as those heavier tech units here. Economic advantage for DeWalt overall. Probe wandering out is going to see that shuttle. So Bonneth knows he's at least been spotted and now going to unload those Reavers, slow walk them. Gets huge shots! One on the Dragoon. A di so one Dragoon down, but also getting a critical shot on that Reaver that's exposed. Shield battery going to go ahead and repair it. Dragoon on the high ground both to spot and get some free damage, but these Reavers actually might even be able to get shots into the probe line, which they do and connect. So DeWalt trying to use that shield battery to supply it to keep that Reaver alive and get that second Reaver on the front, but getting backed into his own natural expansion, being denied some mining, that Dragoon on the high ground's been wiped out. Now engaging, trying to press forward, some misfire in between there, and Bonneth able to obliterate the troops and just getting a superior attack position. One Reaver down, two Reavers still alive in the natural, plus all of these Dragoons, and Bonneth with that characteristic aggression and mixing it up with the better engagement point. I was actually saying that might be a win condition, but DeWalt actually able to micro back out of it. I thought these were Bonnet Zealots, but the Zealots able to mix it up. Still six Dragoons left. Wow, what a defense. I thought that was game. Unbelievable. Observer going to sneak back out to see what the gateway count. That's going to be three gateways versus three gateways of production. Still no observers out for DeWalt. But momentarily, at the very least, DeWalt survives. He has repelled that attack. How did he do it, to be honest? 
That was nuts. Okay, we had a pause in between. Once the game's over, I'm going to rewind to that moment. Keep in mind, that was... So we're going to mental note that was at the nine-minute mark, and we're going to rewatch that fight. Because I thought that was game right there. Shuttle rescooping up, regardless of who the winner is. Shield battery, I guess, being a bigger hero than I thought it would be. Bonneth actually with the supply lead worker count. Slightly in Bonneth's favor, but it's just about dead even otherwise. But the big story here, I think, is, is that Bonneth still has... Is feeling more confident in the map control. He has better vision to keep track of what Dewalt's doing with that observer latent out in the field. Which is making him feel more comfortable to go ahead and potentially grab a third base. And tack on a fourth gateway. DeWalt already has that fourth gateway online. Also tech plopping down that Citadel of Adun and a fifth gateway. So it's going to delay that third base a bit to sneak in some tech. So in a, I think it's about in two and a half minutes from now. Potentially going to see a move out. Either with, well, potentially with Salt Lake speed up, but otherwise maybe just scoop up some High Templar Reavers exchanging fire. Bonnet Reaver takes a shot. One Reaver Scarab, I believe. Well, this is, I think, the Reaver from earlier. This Reaver going to go ahead and shield back up. But Bonneth scooting out towards that 9 o'clock location. Just making sure that DeWalt has not taken his third while he potentially saves up to go ahead and grab his. Pylon going to get cleared out as well, so 100 resource deficit at the very least in between. And we got six gateways, so yeah, six gateways out leg speed upgrading. DeWalt definitely going for an aggressive mid-game play. The Observer of DeWalt looks like it was, I think it cleared out, so I don't know if Bonneth has a good view of the gateway count, but he's staging up for an attack of his own. Split forces wants to try to bottle DeWalt in on his two bases and again open up his ability to go ahead and grab that third. Reavers continuing to sneak forward and press. I missed a drop at the main in the meantime. Looks like the shuttle got taken out. But an engagement in the midst of that distraction. Both Reavers wiped out on the front. A shuttle forward, but I don't see any Reaver amidst it, so I think the Reavers got taken out by Dragoons back at the main. Sloppy work today for me. And DeWalt going to GG right there just because there's an overwhelming attack force. Man, this is not my best commentary. So let's first of all go back to the critical moment. Sneak it along that southern edge. It's distracted by that. So first of all, let's look at this critical moment here. So it looks like it was just a single Reaver, and the Reaver... Okay, so I missed the Reaver trailing, but it... Yeah, it gets wiped out, and it does Scarab. That's all that was worth. Two Reavers here. Go ahead and speed it up. And I think it is going to end up being... Oh, man, and I missed that just before the attack. So it was a complete Reaver wipe both direction. But at least we'll get this level of entertainment. We're going to go back to the nine-minute mark. I want to see how... How did DeWalt defend this? Just closer reinforcement point. So taking shots. This Reaver has already taken a big hit. We got 12 Dragoons overall. Looks like there's just fewer... So there's 8 Dragoons, but 2 Reavers. Reinforcement's coming. That will up it to a 10 count. 3 Gateways producing. So let's, let's watch as it continues. So 1 Reaver down. That lowers the count. So with Reinforcements... So shield battery once again. With reinforcements, even Dragoon count. This cell it's getting pecked away at. A little bit of an explosion right there. But this is... I guess that shield battery really doing work. So this Dragoon... It's taken out on the high ground. So now the count. Eight. More Dragoons. Chasing this down. Re-engaging. These splashes are huge. So this moment... You got eight Dragoons left versus five and two Reavers and two Reavers. This is where I thought it was over. 
some reinforcements. Yeah, okay, so that zealot eats a hit. And there was plus some zealots on the ground. This zealot got able to get in here. So now, look at this. So seven, seven dragoons versus two and a reaver. How? How? Okay, so one reaver taken out from the right. A bunch of misfire up on the high ground. And that reaver got taken out. Wow. Also, there weren't... Looks like some of the units, yeah. Minions in chat pointing out that also it looks like some minions were rallied but didn't join the fray the entire time. So these guys are sitting here. So if these guys were in the fight, that might have been game. And should have been game, honestly. But even even here, look at this. Versus three and one. There's one zealot. Like if I like if I pause this and I show it to you on paper, you would be like, okay, that's a Bonneth win, right? But I guess not. Well, at least that part of the commentary is worth looking at for study. I think the big critical bit is here, so all of these so there is a, a bunch of splash happening. I think it's that splash. That's that's it right there. Yeah, you can see it. So we're going to rewind. So look how... You got a bunch of Dragoons, but look at this Reaver. And we'll look at the final kill count here. But you see how much splash it's getting? I think this is... DeWalt's targeting. He's just getting splash on every single one of them. And got that Reaver on the splash... On that bit of splash right there. So it had one kill going in. Once it's done building these scarabs, let's see how many kills it has going out. Beamy, thank you for the raid. Seven kills going out. So it managed six kills with all that splash damage in between, which tells you yeah, where the Dragoon count got leveled. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll go into game two. Bonnet's still winning game one despite that incredible play. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.